Hello, beautiful. Welcome to the United Way. It's Friday, which means it's beer day, beer day. Anyway, guys, that's just for a joke. But uh, it's, it has been a tough week for Manchester United after a 3-1 trash scene from Arsenal. In this video, we'll be going to talk about five things about Manchester United. But let's start with the worst three news, news about Manchester United, right? Because we're on negative street now. We'll talk about uh, Jason, Jason, Jason Sancho's reaction, latest development about Jason Sancho's uh come about Manchester United we'll talk about Anthony there have been a second girl who has come out two more girls have come out to accuse Anthony is that is that fair do they do they just want some finance we'll talk also about Sofrim Amrabat who has just had a negative news in related to, to in related to Manchester United that could be you know it could be it could be a precaution it could be real or it could be just nothing bugger as the americans always say but yes guys before we start please make sure you click the like on the video and at the end of the video what we're going to do is we're going to give you guys some breaking news but anyway guys i just want to tell you guys that if you want to be an administrator in our facebook group we have over 150 active um participants uh you know go to our telegram and just uh write write me i can reply you if you if you want but yeah guys click the like on the video thanks for all of you jumping in especially my uh, ultras from the african continent talking about african continent let's go straight on uh safrim amrabat that's the second african we would have been having three african but as i said yesterday on my video you know uh, eric Bailly just waved himself goodbye to manchester manchester united he's now in turkey and uh but uh, we do have safrim amrabat it's been reported that the year we go that was already up there but yeah yeah here we go man united learned <coughs> safrim amrabat injury right so safrim amrabat was called after he signed for manchester united he was called by the uh by the moroccan um, national team he was for training but you are we just had information now from Alex Turk that's from uh, the Express, right? The Express uh, that um, Manchester United learned that Safrim Amrabat injury update after the, the Moroccan star pulled out of the squad. So it is said it's a. Uh, um, it is said that uh, the Morocco confirmed Amrabat has been released, uh, replaced uh, in Walid Regragu's uh, uh, squad to face Liberia and Burkina Faso in the weekend. So is that a precaution manner, a pre precaution? I think this is, a, it's a, well, not a nothing bugger, but I, I think it's just a precaution because Amrabat knows that his uh, future in Manchester United will depend a lot on um, his performance this season with Manchester United. I think uh, you won't tell, I, I can say that from what we have seen so far, Amrabat prioritized Manchester United to Moroccan national team. He know it's a bigger audience. Uh, no, I mean all respect to Moroccans. You know how my affinity for African clubs. Uh, but my, all respect to my to Moroccans. I think Amrabat will choose to have a better season with Manchester United. That exp that kind of expand expands his brand. That kind of make him um no um being well known in the world uh, arena in terms of football. So tell me what you think about that. It is a bit ironical and a bit shocking because yesterday I asked you guys on the community section should Amrabat start the game against Brighton, which will be in a couple of days. And uh, you wouldn't guess it. I think you'll guess it. More than almost 70% of you say, yes, he will start. He should start. Not will, but should start. But uh, guys, or, or only Eric Ten Hag can tell who is going to start for Manchester United. Talking about starting, the person which I think will not start um, uh, is, um, here we go. Uh, it's, uh, Jason Sancho. I think Jason Sancho, Jason Sancho. Here we go. So yesterday we talked about Jason Sancho, that uh, a certain team, uh, Al, uh, Al Tifak, right? Al Etifak of Saudi Arabia wanted to, uh, I mean, were interested for a loan for Jason Sancho, which uh, Manchester United were looking at that as an option. And um, we had Fabrizio Romano who also mentioned it, and also uh, people like David Onstein who also um, said it's not a it's not a done deal. These were just options. But again, I just want to say this as a United fan. I think Jason Sancho. 
has seen it written already on the wall. I think Jesus Sancho understands he wouldn't be in Manchester United. He is not in Manchester United long-term plans. I think one of the reasons why Jesus Sancho is becoming is going on the offense, is going bullish, as he said in finance, is because he sees that he's not into Ten Hag's plans and uh, he is free to say whatever he wants to say. At the end of the day, he won't be selected, isn't it? So I, I, I mean, I've been in such situation as a football player in my in my career, in my very young professional career you can put it this way um when uh, you can tell a manager off when you you know i mean you have nothing to lose because there have been some developments here that uh this has come out from uh the mail that uh they are saying that eric ten Hag didn't have the right to to talk about the mental health issues about uh, Jason Sancho on the media. But Eric Ten Hag never talked about mental issues. He just mentioned that those are one of the issues he's working on. He didn't go into details. Why should, what should Eric Ten Hag say? What are the powers of a manager? Are the manager there for players only on good times? Should the manager have a bigger role in football? These are topics we need to digress as uh, the modern football fans. Because back in the day, someone say, oh, Alex Ferguson you could do things differently. So Alex Ferguson, I've heard ex uh, the Manchester United players say, player saying, Eric Ten Hag shouldn't speak about that. He shouldn't have said that. You know what? When it's not, when you're, when it's not in, your, in front of you, you, you can say anything. Talking is cheap. What we are doing is cheap. The most important thing is when situations arrive uh, uh, in front of you where you have to react and you have to show some, uh, you know, some class. And I think Eric Ten Hag, one of the things he has taken and brought in board in Manchester United this year is that he is very straightforward. He is, uh, some would say, even too honest for, uh, to be a manager of Manchester United, thinking about the ones we have had in the past. So tell me what you think below about this. Should Eric Ten Hag has a total power in regards to his players? I think that's how football has always been. I'm surprised uh, that uh, the media today is picking up on that. So Sancho's group has said uh, his team, because if this journalist from the Mirror is talking about that Manchester United, uh, Eric Ten Hag didn't have the right uh, to, didn't take permission, didn't have the permission, didn't have the right or whatever to come uh, to mention uh, Jason Sancho health uh, uh, therapy. I'm sorry, he never talked about a therapy or health situation. He just mentioned that those were one of the things, both physically and health uh, uh, situation in which Jason Sancho is working on. That was last year when he granted Jason Sancho three months to recuperate in Holland with uh, some man and managers that he knows. So it's uh, it's a it's a very, it's a pity that uh, we do have. Um, people trying to mix things out on our manager and uh guess what guys i want to tell you guys from the very first day then i came to manchester united and now back the manager full stop i'm not here just to to be uh running away on topics i we, i just want to make things clear yeah guys please make sure you click the like on the video it's important you want to join us you're free to do so you can subscribe let's go out with the last uh story here yeah. i put it the last because it's becoming it's becoming very ridiculous uh that um it's regarding Anthony. Anthony, you guys know that Anthony, uh, girlfriend, did accuse Anthony of uh, an issue that he uh, of violence, basically that uh, Anthony uh, uh, hurt him very hard. Uh, you know, I mean, assaulted the girl. So uh, now we are getting a bunch. Uh, now we are getting on that. Um, that the Brazilian two other girls have come out uh, 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 and uh, accused Manchester United. Uh, accused, sorry, Anthony of uh, also um, being hard on them. I mean, this is an this is a money making exercise. Hakini has told us how fun, how footballers have to react with their finance. Hakini, he needs to be given. He needs to be built. I mean, Hakini, the Moroccan defender, has to be built a monument in um, in FIFA. On oh, maybe not in FIFA, maybe in CAF or in Concacaf, whatever, because. He has shown the footballers how you have to, to take care of your, your, your finance. You shouldn't trust these girls who are just with you because, I mean, on the rainy, on, on, I mean, 
on the sunny days because when the rain starts coming they will be coming believe me they will be coming with uh, some um, really chilly news I, I can tell i can tell you that so um uh, some girls have come out and said um uh, uh, and said that some other girls have come out in in some in uh, brazil uh, started uh, accusing Anthony of uh, also having issues, you know, of violence, also vi violence with Anthony. After Gabriel Cavallini, now two more girls are out and talking about uh, how he assaulted them as well. So for me, the reason why I put this as my last news here on this in regards to Manchester United on a Friday is because for not because I don't care about women, but I think these are just opportunists. This, uh, look, I mean, in every relationship, I'm not uh, encouraging violence, but in every relationship, there are some raining days. So I don't see any reason why, because um, someone has uh, been technically exposed or someone is in difficulties, then you are taking advantage of his misfortunes. So this is where I stand with it. Tell me what you think below, guys. But personally, I think this is, uh, we shouldn't take this story seriously because these are just more or less rumors. Anyway, guys, um, that's uh, the three main stories out of the five, the other five, the other the other two are not Manchester United related, but this channel, uh, this channel related, we are doing... Um, we need uh, moderators for our Facebook group and obviously maybe for this channel as we grow. And guys, please make sure help us reach 10,000 subscribers. That will be a milestone for us here yeah, because, you know, our audience, most of you are in Africa, in the UK. And uh, I want to give you guys a platform where you can speak with all the top journalists. But for us to do that, we need your help. And uh, yeah, sorry for the, the camera. I'm having an issue and my technician, yeah, is ill. Hope he gets well, and then we'll do all. We will uh, get this uh, intact. Anyway, guys, have a nice weekend. We are going to have some videos also tomorrow, so make sure you subscribe because you won't regret regret it. It was great speaking to you, and talk to you soon, guys.